friends and welcome to learning made easy with mandeep so students today i have come up with the message writing one of the sections one of the topics of uh, writing section which we deal with when we are talking of uh, english right so uh, here i have jotted down how a message has to be written right and uh, this is as you can see i have written here you have to remember all these things that we will do one by one but first of all you should know what a message is what is a message message is a kind of an information that is passed from one person to another person that is called a message for example i am passing some uh, information to someone that would be called a message for that particular person right for example uh, like your teachers and all they they what they do is they have whatsapp groups so they pass on a message to you they are passing on some information to you so that is called a message so now let us see what is the format of message writing so the format of message writing goes like this first of all you will be writing message on top in capital letters right then you will leave one line yes children you will leave one line and towards the left hand of yours okay towards the left hand side you will be writing the date okay and then towards the right hand side you will be writing the time when that message is written right what was the time that when you uh, wrote that particular message or when you gave that particular message and then in this portion you will be writing the body means the content okay the content is who had called and why that particular person had called what was the message that was sent by him or her so this will come in this section that is who called and what did that person say okay and who has or who has sent that particular message all this will come in this body and then after the body after the the message is complete whatever information that you have to give you have written everything in it then you will again leave one line as i have left you will again leave one line and then you will write the name okay you will write your name or you will write the name of that particular person who is there given in the question okay whatever questions your teachers will give you so whatever is written in that particular question so that name will be written at the end sometimes children what happens that uh, whom you have to write the message that is not written and sometimes whom you have to write the message is written if it is given then it's easy then you can write the name of that particular person as a salutation here down here you can write as salutation for example mom dad okay father uncle okay if you are writing it to your friend then you can write just the name of your friend varun nidhi neha seema whatever okay so it is like this if it is given then well and good you will note down from the question okay but if it is not given then what will you do then it is better that you do not write any salutation okay do not write you just write the date you just write the time and you start writing the message one more thing children you can do when in the question it is not written whom you have to pass that particular message otherwise usually it is not so most of the time it is always given but if it is not given then you can do one thing you can write x y z you can write x y z and then you can begin with the uh, whatever information you have to pass to that person i hope this much is clear to everybody so now let us come to uh, some of the important things that you should all keep in mind first thing is heading in capital as i already told you then what is the body actually the body includes three things you can see that is salutation salutation means a uh, dear mom uncle father dad varun sita neha whatever okay that is called salutation if required if it is required then only you will write the salutation if it is not required then there is no need of writing the salutation right now we come to the second one who had called me maybe somebody would have called telephonically to give the information or maybe somebody would have come to your house to give the information 
for that person and that person is not there at home so you will have to write a message you will leave a message for that person so that when he or she comes back home that person can easily just have a look at that message right so then again why called and why sent means why is that message given is that message very important what is the hidden thing behind it what is the urgency of that message okay what is the information okay what is the point of information that is given in that particular message so that will be taken so we have three things we have salutation we have who called who called and gave the message and third thing we have why did that person call to give the message what was the requirement what was the need of that particular message right so these are the points that you should remember now uh, one more thing children here most important thing that you have to keep in mind is that whenever you are writing a message you have to cage it can you see that i have caged it caging means uh, make a box okay if you will make a box and if you will put the message in it it will give first of all it will give a good look and secondly it 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 is actually required it is important it is a part of your formatting the message so this has to be done like this and the third thing there should be proper format as i told you this is the format message in the middle with capital then date in the left time in the right then comes the body and then the name so this should be kept intact in proper order otherwise your marks are going to be deducted for this now we come to the next that is following the word limit whatever the word limit is given sometimes what happens children in message writing the word limit is 30 words sometimes it is 40 words and sometimes it can be 50 words also so keeping the message word limit in your mind keeping the word limit which is given in the question in your mind you have to jot down your message if it is 30 words be very 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 precise if it is 40 to 50 words then you can add a bit of things to it right but not much do not exceed your word limit because if you will exceed your word limit for example four to five words here and there no problem at all but if you will exceed it more then definitely you are going to lose few of your marks just because of your carelessness so do not do that be precise be short and see that in that short precise thing you have given each and every information which was supposed to be passed on to you or to that particular person without leaving a single thing right so now come to the the last one it can be formal and it can be informal for example if it is a formal letter right so formal letter for example uh, like i am a teacher right and my student is uh, giving a message to me so that will be a formal message for example i am there and i am messaging my student so that will also be a formal message for example a teacher is messaging the principal that will also be a formal message and the principal addressing the teacher or giving any kind of a message to the teachers that is also a formal message now we come to informal ones informal ones are those messages which we send or want to give to our near and dear ones for example our friends for example your mom your dad your uncles your aunts they all come in informal category right if a question comes of informal then you will go by that and who will decide this will be decided by your salutation whatever the salutation you are giving in your question that will decide that this particular question is a formal or an informal one okay so i hope formal and informal is also clear to everybody so now we come to the last thing that is called the marking scheme of message writing so let us have a look at the marking scheme so here i have jotted down the marking scheme children uh, the message writing can either be of 5 marks it can even be of 4 marks but i have given you for 5 marks what the marking scheme is going to be usually in schools and boards and all this is the marking scheme which is followed so i have given you this only so for formatting 2 marks the format of the message takes 2 marks then content 2 marks means whatever is your body whatever things that you have written in it then comes the expression it holds one mark expression means 
whatever vocabulary you have used means the words that you have used have you uh, done any spelling errors or have you done any grammatical errors so all these things are counted under the heading expression okay so this is what the marking scheme is now children one thing is very different in message and you know what that thing is that whenever we are teaching children a letter writing any kind of letter okay whenever we teach children letter writing so what the children when there are some children okay those back benchers one and very smart ones what they do is when the exams and all come they they cram the format and they go and vomit that format on the piece of paper they write that format okay and they fetch marks because format has some marks so they are that is given to them but as far as message writing is concerned children even if you will just draw it like this and close it right message date time body name here means the format even if you will just write all these things in your exam and feeling that okay fine do number to mujhe mil hi jayenge because it is of two marks but you are highly mistaken children you are not going to fetch even half a mark not even 0.25 mark for doing this mistake that that children usually do so please please do not do this that you just go and jot down the format and you come back then i must tell you you are going to get a big zero so instead of getting a big zero so try and go through this format very nicely and jot down the question as it has been written in the question because everything is hidden in the question so that you have to find out with your wits with your common sense and just jot that down and i am can assure you that you will get very good marks in that okay so uh, before we end so let us have a look at one of the questions we i will do one of the questions so that you come to know as to how things have to be done so uh, here is there is a question on the board as you can see it is it is saying you are ramesh today you had the following conversation with rajesh so ramesh and rajesh they are two people they have had a conversation it it may be it is a telephonic or whatever let us see what kind of conversation uh, with rajesh who is a friend of your elder brother so it's you who have who has an elder brother so this message is for your elder brother and who is sending that you are ramesh means you are listening to it and who is calling you it is rajesh who has called you and rajesh is one of the friends of your elder brother so now let's see what uh, rajesh has to say now rajesh say hello is it 9935770099 so he is confirming whenever we call we confirm whether we are calling at the right address uh, number or not then ramesh ramesh here this boy ramesh says yes i am ramesh speaking what can i do for you now ramesh is asking what should i do for you so rajesh will say well ramesh i am rajesh you know your brother's friend now he says that i am who am i i am rajesh and i am your brother's elder brother's friend so ramesh says oh i see well brother is not here now now he says that my elder brother is not at home so what can i do for you how can i help you okay so how can i help you now rajesh say could you please convey him that he should bring my practical book today in school as i need it in class today so now rajesh has a problem that he is his practical book is with ramesh elder brother okay so now he is asking uh, telling ramesh that you please tell your elder brother that he should bring my practical book in the school because i need it in the school right so ramesh say that's fine i'll do that okay so ramesh said fine don't worry i will convey your message to my brother right so now what happened as you are leaving for school means ramesh is leaving for school ramesh also has got to go to school So Ramesh is also leaving for school. So write a message for your brother in forty to fifty words. Now Ramesh is leaving, so he is supposed to write a message to his elder brother in how many words? Between forty to fifty words. You have to write a 
message. So this was all about Rajesh and Ramesh, their talks. So now Ramesh is writing a message to his elder brother about whatever things he has discussed with Ramesh, uh, sorry Rajesh. Right. See, now what we will do is we will first underline those important things which we really require, which we really need. So first thing is who called? Rajesh called. You will have to tell this that who had called? Rajesh called in his, in your absence. Then what was the message? This was the message that he should bring the practical book in school because he needs it in the class. That's it. This is the message that you have to convey to your elder brother. I hope it is clear. So now we will see how we are going to jot that down in the on the on the blackboard in the form of a proper message, right? So first of all, so first of all, children, we will be writing here message in capitals. Then we will leave one line. For example, this is a line. So we will leave this line. This whole line we are going to leave. Okay, then here we are going to write the date. Okay, whatever the date will be. Okay, we will write that particular date. For example, today I am making the video. So what is the date today? Today is 20th of May. So I will write here 20th May 20XX. Okay, this is how actually we write dates. Your teachers must have taught you while teaching you letter writing. Okay, and other things, the applications and all. Date is always written like this. We will write the day, we will write the month. And when we come to year, we will write down 20XX. The last two are written as XX. Okay. So now we come to time. So time as you know that even, uh, sorry, uh, Ramesh is also going to school. So when do we go to school? We go to school in the morning hours only. So in the morning only he is going to write the message. So we can write down the time. The time can be morning say 7.30 a.m. Okay, time can be 7.30 a.m. because it is morning hour. So what is the message? So you will write here, brother, because now it is clear that you are writing the letter to your, uh, the sorry, the message to your brother. So you will write your brother, okay, and then you will write the message, okay. So who had called? Rajesh called, okay. So what will you write? Rajesh called in your absence, means when you were not there, that was the time when Rajesh gave a call for you, okay. And what was the message that he said? That you should bring his practical book to the school. Today, okay, he needs it, and then again, you will leave one line and you will write your name. So, who are you? You are Ramesh. That's all. This is what a message is all about. You wrote the date, you wrote the time, then salutation and then you wrote Rajesh called in your absence. You should bring his practical book to the school today. He needs it. That's it. And then Ramesh. Right? So this is what the message writing is all about. So uh, writing just a few words. I know it is difficult to write, to take out the crisp thing out of a, a, a long information that is given. You have to just take out the major points out of it. But when you will practice it, 
uh, once, twice, thrice, then you will get used to writing good messages. And definitely you will be fetching full marks in message writing. So I hope you have understood what message writing is. I also hope that you will definitely be getting full marks in message writing after viewing this video. So all those who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel. Do not forget to press the bell icon so that you keep on getting all kinds of notifications about my upcoming videos.